We're here at Heritage High School in Newport News where students get a unique opportunity to learn about how to manage money. Talking today with Shamika Gerald, the principal at Heritage High School, and Chris Moore, the financial education supervisor at Bayport Credit Union. I want to hear more, Chris, about the student-run credit union here at Heritage. Well, five years ago, we opened up this branch here to give the kids an opportunity to have hands-on banking experience and practice their money management skills. We have the tellers that have an opportunity to work the branch, and then we have the opportunity for the student members to come in and do hands-on banking and be able to see what it's like to build their savings accounts and actually budget their money. Wonderful. And so I'd love to hear, Shamika, what this has done for the students as they get money from this credit union. Well, one of the things that I was excited about partnering with Chris and Bayport was that students having the opportunity to learn how to manage money in a real life setting. How do you fill out a deposit slip? What is my next step? What happened at this transaction? Mm -hmm. So one of the stories that I like to tell is that it does provide opportunities for students beyond just while they're here at um, Heritage High School. One of our students is now off in college. She started as a teller our first year here at mm -hmm. Bayport. Um, she ended up getting a scholarship from Bayport. Um, for her college education. In addition to, she earned the opportunity to work as an actual teller at Bayport. So not <laughs> only did she work at this branch, but she has had the opportunity during the summers when she comes back from school to work at any of the Bayport branches. So periodically I'll get her a text and say, hey, you coming by the bank, I'm here. So it's really been a, a, a unique experience for our students to have that. What a great, great story. And I can't help but notice there are four awards mm -hmm. here. You've been in business for four years. Mm -hmm. So what has this school done to win so many awards? Well, this school has gone above and beyond. They strive really hard every year to promote their membership and to be able to have new members and for the number of transactions that they have. And then the tellers, we actually, you know, audit them and make sure that they're doing things right. Mm -hmm. So they've had a great year with all of those components combined that actually qualify them for the most outstanding student-run branch four years in a row. That's wonderful. I know Shamika mentioned scholarships, which are opportunities for students to earn mm -hmm. as well. Absolutely. Yep. We have specific student-run teller scholarships. We have student-run member scholarships, and then we have almost $90,000 that's given away to other students and adults throughout our community. I know that there's also opportunities for elementary and middle school to learn about mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. which is so important. Yep. We have um, 50 student-run branches, so at the elementary level, we have the kids that have an opportunity to build their savings and establish savings habits, but we also go into the classrooms and provide hands-on financial education activities that kind of support the SOLs and give them a chance to have more exposure to financial education. Right. Well, where can people go to learn more? They can call 928-8850 or they can stop by any of our branches and get more information. Right. Chris, Shamika, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.